I have a lot of requests. I mean, you guys requested a lot to kind of show you guys how to load up some of these loads. I'm going to be real with you. I don't even know how I'm going to load up this load, but we're going to wing it. It's, it's not so much a right way, but there definitely is a wrong way. I'm thinking about what you guys would do with your load, or if you had this load on your truck or your trailer, what would you do? The first thing you want to do when it comes to a load is you want to make sure that there's friction, there's friction between the actual product itself and the trailer. You make sure if there's friction, if there's friction between the load and the actual deck of itself, you're securing it from going left to right. When I tell my dad, once a product's on the trailer, it's not coming off the trailer. Meaning what that is, once it's on the trailer, nine times out of the 10, it going anywhere is rare. It's not gonna go anywhere. So your goal, your goal is to make sure that there's friction. Look at my hands, friction between it. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. It can't, can't go anywhere. If you can't move and you're good, that's it. Make sure she can't go left to right. That's it. Make sure she can't go left to right and make sure she can't bounce up in the air. She shouldn't go bounce in the air if you have friction. Gotta create friction. Alright, now that you have a little bit of an idea of what we're gonna do or what you wanna do, so what I have in my brain is I wanna chain it coming back this way because obviously it's on the end of the it's at the end of the the tail it's at the end of the trailer i think i'm going to take this strap and i want to put on these legs back here this strap and because this is the meat this is the meat of the this is the battery now because because i've rode these before that battery would just sling right out chain on it i have a strap hitting right here in that middle part and then i have another strap on these legs so let's get to it I didn't tighten it down too much. I just tightened it down where you can see that it was actually tucking on the product. The reason for that is because there's no other restraint or strap or chain on it holding it the other direction. So all you're going to do is keep pulling it. Now you need to put something else to hold it down so it won't go the opposite direction. See what I'm saying? <laughs> chain up there two straps and because honestly I don't feel too comfortable with just that up there because of what it is I know it's only probably like I think it's like a thousand something pounds because I don't feel that comfortable with it I'm gonna take that strap and this is gonna act as my um, opposite right or I don't know the exact word for it but it's gonna act as my my pulley okay for my chain chain is pulling this direction right this strap I'm gonna hook it in here and it's gonna pull this direction. And I got so basically I got four things up here holding it down. I will make a video on that because I get a lot of questions about that. Like what is all the like what is it what is the equipment that you need to be out here? These are some of my edge protectors. I have another set that's blue. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, but you want to have two sets of these because this is this is a perfect scenario of why. Just so we have a point of contact and at the same time, I'm taking care of my, of my stuff. I'm taking care of their stuff. So now I'm actually kind of pulling the frame. See how tight that is? Look at my chain. So now, take the chain. Now you're gonna take your chain and you're gonna tighten it down. The part about this, what I can teach you guys, people don't know this. See this excess strap? This is your excess strap, okay? It's coming from this strap. You can play with this and do whatever you wanna do with it. What I mean by that is, you can take it, put it anywhere else, tie it down to this side, and then throw it on that side and then strap it down.
not here to like show you guys how to do anything really i'm i mean i am but i'm not and what i mean by that is like i'm not gonna sit here and be like how to start your hot shot trucking business i did not start a hot shot trucking business my pops started a hot shot trucking business i got on board i was the first person to get on board to assist him so he doesn't like he doesn't like youtube he doesn't like the camera stuff he, he likes it for me but he doesn't like being in the camera he's an older guy i get it he's old school he don't like being in the camera but that's not what i'm here for i'm not here for that i'm here to show you guys the life what 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 can you do to be fun i'm 23 years old I just want to show you guys my life. Like, I've been through so much in my life. I, I got a fucking list. Okay, I got a list. And I just want to just have fun.